So my name is Hanna. Hi, Hanna. I'm very excited that you're here. You've been a great inspiration to me in the last year. And I have one question. Um, I sort of understand what you mean with effort, no effort. So mm -hmm. that's not really part of my question, but I'm going to use the word effort here. To, okay. Uh, assuming that I understand how to meditate correctly and that I um, have found the right way to become clear, mm -hmm. whatever that is, uh, and that I don't struggle with what is and I can become the situation. Uh, and that my desire for lucidity or enlightenment is deeper than freedom, pleasure, pain, all that. Assuming all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one of the reasons I have to use the word effort, because those okay. of us who are still walking through the day sure. with ego, mm -hmm. it takes effort to unego. Mm -hmm. I understand. Uh, with yeah. the language that we use. Yes. So, yes. assuming all that... My question is, to reach enlightenment, um, is it about us acquiring a specific skill level mm -mm. in meditation, in our ability to be clear yeah. and not struggle and be here? Mm. Or, I mean, I'm assuming that's it. Could it be that anywhere along the way in that, quote, struggle or uh, effort that we are graced with yes. enlightenment Yes. And those skills or whatever before um, getting there through our own effort, assuming we're using the right effort. Hmm. Uh, That's a hell of a question. Congratulations. <laughs> That's really quite, quite amazing. <laughs> that is. Well, can I put the enlightenment part aside for a minute? I'll get back to it. Okay. And I want to put the enlightenment part aside. I'd rather just call it like Spiritual clarity, awakening, uh -huh. being, being, being um, uh, l like I said before, being really lucid. Mm -hmm. Because enlightenment, I, I, I can touch upon that, sure. but it's a very, very uh -huh. different thing than, all, mm -hmm. than any of that. Um, it's the same it's path a, or effort, though, or whatever. Uh, well, the, 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 the coming to moment of clarity, the awakening part, it, that, that's, the di that's the strange thing about it. It doesn't necessarily come from even necessarily the right effort, doing, the, doing it correctly, meditating the right way. Often it comes from a break, breaking down of doing things the right way. When doing things the right way or the, what you thought were the right way, that, that also didn't work. Uh, well, I'm assuming in that that I'm able to face my shadows and break down, and yeah. that's part of the, quote, right effort. Yeah. Yeah. Re see, awakening is it's, it's, it's a grace. So it's not, it's, it doesn't lend itself to cause and effect that this leads to that mm -hmm. necessarily. All, it's, it's not, that doesn't mean that, there's n that what you do or don't do has no effect. It just means there's no direct effect. <sighs> <laughs> so you're saying that somebody who, quote, tries really hard or... Does all the right stuff yes, and has all the right intentions. And somebody who sits in the closet and has no belief in and even intentionally does harm, yes. could be struck by Absolutely. clarity. I've had it happen. I've seen it. I've talked to people. Because at times... I've had them come in and talk mm -hmm. to me. They don't even mm -hmm. know what's going on. They don't even... Mm -hmm. some, one, one woman was a wonderful woman from Canada. She had it happen on a softball field, and she didn't want it. Aja, I heard about you because you're the guy that talks about no self, and I can't get mine back. I lost it on the softball field. <laughs> And unlike most people who tell me they've lost their self, she actually had. And she said, I don't have a spiritual bone in my body. And I said, you know. So anyway, that's the thing. There you can't draw these really cause. That's, that's the whole thing of it. It's not about merit. Well, it's so... Uh, Somebody that's what, not seeking it, it can what, happen. You know, they right, fall off so a bar stool and there it is. What's needed then... What's needed then when we are faced with um, suffering and yeah. honestly face it and uh, 
one after the other, we try really hard, <laughs> and we think, when am I going to get rewarded? Yeah. Here am I faced with another struggle, and I'm really good yeah. at doing this work I know. without ego to what do we do to not <laughs> lose hope or to keep trying or whatever word is correct for you fail effort you fail well i i do and i don't mind <laughs> if you'd failed once we probably wouldn't be having this conversation okay okay fail in what just it just fail means that <sighs> i'm not getting anywhere with this guy I'm not getting what I need. I'm not getting what I want. I don't quite know what the hell he's talking about or where we're going with this thing. There's nothing useful I'm being told. You know, there's something in us when we just kind of... Failing is a way of saying stop. But everybody says just stop. But what does just stop mean? Just stop means fail. It hasn't worked out. The way you've gone about it hasn't done it. If it had... You see, then one would never talk about it. So there's a stopping. In that stopping, you don't know what to do anymore. You really don't know what to do anymore. I, 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 I sort of understand what you're saying there, but also in meditation you have talked about a right way and a wrong way to meditate. I just said a useful or not useful way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. So the, let, me, let me just... Useful in failing better or in letting yes. go. Yes, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So in other words, if, if, if your meditation, let's say, you're meditating, and you're meditating, the way I have people work with this is often the way our minds hear it is, okay, now I'm going to meditate, and I just says something like, what I'm going to do now is let everything be. So now I'm trying to let everything be. And that becomes something that I'm striving for. I'm trying to allow this moment to be. That's a great way to screw it all up. A different way is you don't go about it as a goal. You go as it as a question. What's it, what's it like right now? What is it like when I allow this moment to be? What happens when I allow this moment to be? My mind's busy. Gee, what happens if I just allow my mind to be busy, what happens? See, then it's a question. It's, it's like you're being, led, you're being led upon some... Um, you're being led deeper into your experience through just questioning it, just like a curiosity. What happens when I do this? As soon as you turn the teaching into something you're trying to impose, here's what I'm supposed to do, you've lost that sort of curiosity. So it's... Just like in meditation, what, would it, what is it like when I allow everything to be? It becomes a question that leads you into it. And at a certain point, of course, you let go of that too. All teachings, eventually, you just let go of. You don't even, at a certain point, you don't need that. And we face life the same way. Sure. Yeah. What, what happens when I'm talking to somebody or whatever, and, I, and I, maybe I disagree with them or something? What happens if I really allow them to disagree with me? It doesn't mean you have to agree with them. It just means, what if I let them have their experience? And how does it change the way I relate to someone when I allow them to have the experience they're having, when I'm not in there trying to make their experience like mine? So it's actually a very practical thing, you see, that can flow in any, in any circumstance. It can be something that you're kind of working with, because you, you'll see then you have a much more creative response to life when you're not in opposition to life anymore. You know, it doesn't mean you just go, oh, everything is the way it is and I don't have any part to play. No, no, no. Everything is the way it is, including you. And there's a creative way for you to engage in life that's based not in conflict, but that's not based in conflict. That's an expression of no conflict. So, by the way, thank you for being, I can, I can really sense your sincerity. And it's, I mean, I, can, I get that you're very diligent in, you know, what you wrote down and you're really <laughs> listening. And I really do, I really appreciate it. 
And I can so much identify with that because, I mean, I used to, and you know, I used to comb through teachings and look for like the secret, you know, just the right thing. And then I, I would see it or it would stand out and then I would try to really understand it and try to apply it in the right way. So I absolutely understand. I understand that. And I understand the sincerity that's behind the behind what you're saying and what you're asking. Um, and I know my answers may not seem to be really forthright, well, but I, what, what really the most important thing is is your 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 intention. That's really yeah, sure. you can do everything wrong, but if your intention is really right on, you're gonna it's that's gonna do it. And most importantly, the most important element is to remove the whole element of time. Just remove it out of your spiritual, let's say, practice. Remove time. By that I mean, remove tomorrow, what I'm going to do tomorrow or the next day or the next day, because then you're anchored in this instant, right? Then it's not so much, what do I do tomorrow or later? Or it's like, what do I do now? This instant because time, if there's an enemy to awakening, it's time. It's preparing, it's getting there, it's right progressing towards it. All of that's about time. Whereas the, the fertile ground for spiritual clarity is actually not in time, it's in right here. So it's not so much, let's say, time. a time-based way would say, okay, How do I go about this awakening? In the question is time. How do I go about it? That implies tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. An approach that's not based in time would be much more immediate. The question would be a different question. The question would be, well, what this is really about is discovering what I am. What am I now? Do you see what I mean? Now, this moment, what am I now in this moment? Can I look for myself this moment? You see, am I my story in my mind? I can't control that story, but is it who I am? Am I, you see what I mean? I want enlightenment. I want to get there. I want all that stuff. That's the seeking energy. I want to go there. Okay, I know where I want to get, but where I want to get doesn't tell me what I am, the me that's going to get there. So you see this different approach is always anchoring you back in this very instant, in your own experience, right here, right now. That's the only part I want to add, is that interpret all these things that I'm saying so they really kind of nail your feet to right here and right now. Effort in being... Yeah, (laughs) yeah, you know. And as my teacher used to say, you know, and took me years to figure out what this meant. She always used to say, "Look, it's it's a effortless effort." Mm -hmm. And I thought that was like a wacky, cool Zen thing, you know, that I didn't understand. But it's actually, it's actually, we're making effortless effort without even knowing it all the time. To walk up to the microphone, you were using effortless effort for your body to move here. It took some effort for your body to move here, but you weren't under strain or struggle or striving. Your body moved itself here. Effortless effort. If we get stuck on effort, we're striving too much. If we get attached to no effort, we're going way too unconscious. But there's something right in the middle. Thank you. You're very welcome. (laughs) Thanks for coming up.